In this lesson, we are going to go over surface area and volume for different shapes. And so the definition of volume is the amount of three-dimensional space that is inside of an object. So if you think about um, the volume of water that can be held in a cup, the amount of water on the inside of that cup is a volume measure. And the units are cubed for volume, so we have like inches cubed, centimeters cubed, things like that. And the surface area is the sum of the area of each face of the object. And so this would be like the surface area would be the surface area of the entire cup around the outside of that volume of water. And the units are squared in this for surface area, so we'd have like inches squared, centimeters squared, things like that. And so if we go over a couple different shapes, we'll start with the cube, and we're going to say it has a length L for its sides. So the surface area is equal to 6L squared. And this makes sense because if we think of it, it's the sum, we want the area of each face and the sum of all the faces. So the area of one face will be L times L or L squared, and we have six faces, so it's going to be six times that. So that's kind of how surface area comes about. And then the volume is equal to L cubed. Next, if we go to a rectangular prism with a length L, a width W, and a height of H, the surface area is equal to 2 width height plus 2 length height plus 2 width length. And so if you look at this, it's just the area of each face. Um, so if we look at the front face, the L times the H, that's the area of that face, and we have two of those faces, one at the front and one at the back. So that's how we get the 2LH, and it's the same procedure for each um, side. So if you look at the, the end, where we have the width times the height is the area of the face, and we have two of those faces, the right side and the left side. So that's how we get the 2WH. And then the volume is equal to the length times the width times the height. And now if we go to a sphere, and we're going to say this sphere has a radius of r, the surface area is equal to 4 pi r squared, and the volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi r cubed. And then finally, if we look at a cylinder that has a radius of r and a height of h, the surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And if we look at this, um, the 2 pi r squared comes from the area of the circle on the top and the bottom of the can. And then the 2 pi r h comes from, I guess we'll call it the body of the can, like the height of the can. And then the volume is equal to pi r squared h. And so this is just some of the different equations for surface area and volume. And now if we do a problem, it says find the surface area and volume of a cylinder whose radius is half of its height, which is 12 centimeters. So let's draw a picture here. And we have some height, which it tells us is 12 centimeters. And then we have a radius, r. And so it tells us that the radius is one half of the height. So in this case, our radius will be half of the 12 centimeters, or 6 centimeters. 
now we can go ahead and find the surface area. And so our equation is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. And so now it's just plugging in values. So we'll use 3.14 for pi, 6 centimeters squared, plus 2 times 3.14 again, the radius of 6 centimeters, and the height of 12 centimeters. And so um, I did the math for each part separately, so you could check your answer. The first part of the surface area will be 226.08 centimeters squared, and the second part is 452.16 centimeters squared, and we combine them to get a final surface area of 678.24 centimeters squared. And now if we go find the volume, our equation is pi r squared h. So we have 3.14 times 6 centimeters. That value is squared. And then a height of 12 centimeters. So when we work this out, we get a volume of 1,000 356.48 centimeters cubed. So this is a summary of surface area and volume.